I was in a situation recently when I really wanted to set up a vocoder for use in live performance to create some unique background vocal textures uh, for a singer who wanted to cover the song Butterflies. So in this video I'm going to show you how I set up a vocoder in DP8 and got it all routed and ready to play. So first I had to find one. A quick Google search led me to the freeware TAL vocoder, which comes in both VST and audio unit formats. DP8 supports both, so I grabbed the AU version and I put it inside my hard drive's library, audio, plugins, components folder. The TAL vocoder works as an audio effect, so it's not technically an instrument. To use it, you first have to add it on an aux track. So let me add a new aux track to my sequence and rename it TAL vocoder. I'll make sure the input to that aux track is set to my microphone's input, which in this case is analog 4. Then, I instantiate the TAL vocoder on that track in the mixer. Now right off the bat, it's not going to make any noise at all, because a vocoder is designed to comb the frequencies between the internal synth and the incoming mic. So unless the internal synth is playing something, it's not going to make any noise at all. So to trigger its internal synth, we have to first create a MIDI track and send its destination to the TAL vocoder. DP already knows that the TAL vocoder is a valid MIDI destination since we put it on the aux track. Alright, the vocoder is now playable. I just wanna touch and kiss and I wish that I could be with you tonight. You give me butterflies inside. What's happening is that the words I'm singing or speaking into the mic are being synthesized by the vocoder so I can play any harmonies I want from the MIDI keyboard. The TAL vocoder is a little bit limited in its effects options, but it's free, so I'm not complaining. One thing I'd like to do is add a little touch of delay just to smooth things out, especially on the ends of words and things, and make it a little more elegant. I'm a big fan of PSP's Lexicon 42, so let me add that as an insert after the vocoder. And I'll pull up a slow tape setting, maybe turn down the dry, wet mix, just so I can add a little bit of delay. And there you have it, a homebrew vocoder made for free in DP8. I actually did go on and use this at that gig, and it was a success. It worked great. So I hope you enjoyed this creative tutorial.